Well, here we are on YouTube. I'm very excited to do this video. One, because I know Danny's watching. That's right. I know. Danny watches all of our videos. Danny, we are waiting. Can you just comment or send us a message? You know, like, please, you know, have your people or have you contact me. And we need to interview you. Nathan and I wanted to interview Danny and the band. Um, I think it would be great. I think I think I think we'd do well. I think people would enjoy that. We need people to uh, get out there and, and uh, tag us and share our McFly videos. So Danny and the and the band will uh, get back to us, please. Pretty please. Okay, right. so this is from you. Ready? I'll tell you who this is from. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. This is from Lee. Now, Lee actually gave us the same song request that Christina did, but we just randomly, you know, do the songs, and I picked Christina first, did her song, then I went to, to do the next batch of songs from my next stream, and like, oh, I think I've done the song already. So I actually messaged Christina saying, didn't we do this one? It was yours, right? She says, yes, it was, and then I had to message Lee and say, Lee, I'm sorry. Another McFly fan already asked for the song that we did. So I said, please give me another McFly song. I just want to do more of their album. It doesn't even matter which one. So this is the one that Lee picked. This is what he had to say. This is the official audio of a new song from the album, Route 55. Yeah, Route 55. Is that their new album? The new song. Oh, a new song for us. Oh, is this an older song, but not from the new album? Is that what I'm understanding? It was okay. Um, am I getting that right? So this is a new song for me, but it's a previous, it's a previous album. Because I've been doing a lot of their new stuff, right? Um, Am I getting that wrong? Okay, so uh, it's a new song for us, but not from their new latest album. Okay. Oh, this is from the new album. Why am I am I reading that wrong? Or okay, so Route Fifty Five. Let me read that again. See, Lee, did you write it wrong, or am I reading it wrong? Now, now, see, Danny's going to watch this, and he's going to think, "Well, there's no way I'm going to be interviewed by these this clown. He can't even read properly." Let me read it again. This is the official audio of a new song from the album. From the album. Oh, I see. Okay. Sorry, you didn't give me any uh, grammar or, you know, you should have put a period there or a comma, right? From the album, period. Route 55. <laughs> yes, yeah. Okay, now I thought it was from the album, Route 55. Okay. I'm a disaster. Okay. Route 55. This is my personal favorite from the album, and it showcases Dougie's vocals. So him and Danny are lead vocals on this. Oh, that's cool. And, uh, oops, sorry. Once again. And, and the harmonies between Doug, Tom, and Danny are amazing. Okay. All right. I'm all caught up. I'm an idiot. No, it's okay. It's okay, Lee. It's, you know, I don't proofread anything. It's it's my bad. All right. All right. Here we go. New song, new album, Dougie lead, Tom and Danny harmonizing. I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. Yeah. 
Doug, uh, that was Danny at the end, right? Am I, getting, am I recognizing the vocals now? That was awesome. Yeah, Danny's awesome. And Dougie sounded great there. I, I love it. Boy, I, I mean, what do you want me to say that I haven't said a hundred times? I mean, I, I I love this album. Every song that we've reacted to or I've reacted to from this album is it's killer. I love it. It just screams. It brings me back to the music that I love growing up. And obviously, Danny and the and the, and the band, uh, uh, Dougie, Tom, and Harry, they get all right? They get all the names right? Uh, they obviously have the same love of the music I grew up with. Uh, I know they're a little bit younger than me. What are their what are the age, ages here? Let me see. Danny, I think he's thirty something. Let me see. Uh, he was born in eighty six. Yeah, so he's nine years younger than me. So that would make him ah math is too hard. You know what I'm getting at. Anyway, so um, so that's cool. I, I I just love their love of the music that I love. So that sound redundant. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's just so cool. And these guys have that ability to all sing. Now, does Harry sing? So you said here, Lee, that it's rare to have three people from a band that can all sing. I mean, obviously the Beatles did it, the name one band. Uh, but is is Harry the Ringo <laughs> of the band? Uh, I mean, like he could probably sing okay. It's like Ringo can sort of sing okay, like harmonies and stuff. But um, anyway, so uh, yeah, this this album is what we hope for. And I'll say it again. When we reacted to their uh, concert in Rio and we said, boy, this was, that's what sold us. It was that concert 2022. Was it, it was that concert performance that sold it for me and Nathan for the band. Cause we saw it live, saw them, they killed it live. And that's so important for us. And they played like a rock band and they have been mislabeled. I think and unfairly. So as a, even as a boy band or pop band, they're not, they're a rock band who can, they happen to sing and harmonize. It's basically like if the Beatles could play rock, like, you know what I mean? Hard rock or because these guys can sing. And it's amazing that all three of them can sing and the three front guys on stage. So they, it's a, what an advantage that the guys have. They can trade off vocals, you know, it kind of saves their vocals because not one person's carrying the load. Right. Um, yeah. So say so Harry can't sing and just drums. That's okay. I can't play drums or sing. So. Yeah, they. I, I really need to see these guys live. That that goes without saying. I really hope to see them. But more importantly, guys, share this video to their socials. Tag them on Twitter and stuff saying, we want to talk to them. I think Nathan and I would have a fun interview with them. I think we'd do well. I think we would. I think we would. Because I would like, I'd like to share our journey with them as, um, you know, old middle-aged white guys who've uh, fallen in love with this band because of a reaction channel. I mean, that's, our, that's what we're doing here. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you so much, Lee. Great. I'm, you know, I'm glad Christina gave us the one song, and I'm glad you gave me this song because this is amazing. We're almost, I think we're halfway through the album by now. So keep it coming, folks. Keep it coming. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.